Today we're going to be talking about a reduced pressure backflow. This is an 825Y made by Febco. While we're talking about specifically an RP, a reduced pressure backflow, in this video, I'm curious, what backflow do you have at your house? Do you know how to use it? Let me know in the comments below and I'll see if I can help you out. So here's a quick rundown of the reduced pressure backflow. This is the test cock number one, then test cocks two and three, and number four. Also, we have a T-handle ball valve here and another ball valve here after the backflow. So next, we have the number two check valve on the bottom, and on the top, we have number one check valve. So now we're gonna take apart the relief valve assembly. Right now, we're using a half inch socket to remove these bolts from the cover. Once the bolts are removed, you can pull off the cover to the relief valve. This brass piece can warp during freezing and cause leaking. Next, we have the diaphragm for the relief valve assembly. We can remove this to inspect it. But now we have the white relief valve assembly. There are springs behind it. Also, look at both sides of the diaphragm and inspect the whole thing. Then we can put the cover back on. Make sure everything goes back in place and these don't get cross-threaded. Once they get cross-threaded, it is extremely difficult to put them back on correctly. I like to make sure everything's in their hand tight before using the socket wrench to tighten everything on there. This way it makes sure everything goes on nice and even. Also make sure that the diaphragm is in the correct position, otherwise it will block the entry for the bolts. Once everything's hand tight, use the socket wrench to tighten all the bolts down. I like to alternate which bolts I'm tightening to make sure that everything goes in nice and even, just like you're changing a tire. Now we're gonna look at the check valve number one. This is spring loaded, so be careful when you're taking it apart. Remember, the top check valve and the lower check valve, one and two, are very similar. They both have springs inside, so be careful when you're taking them apart. Then you can look inside and see if there's any debris. Then remove the white check valve, and you can inspect the bottom O-ring to see if there's any damage or debris inside. Once you look in there, you can see if there's been damage to the brass. Put everything back in place, and make sure that everything's nice and tight. This is just a quick overview of a Febco 825Y, an RP backflow. So hopefully this gives you a little bit more confidence to work on them yourself. Here is a cutout view of the RP backflow. You can see the check valves here. The same principles apply for this RP backflow. It is also an 825, but the ball valves are in a different location. 